What's up everybody, welcome back to Gamers Be Like, I'm Bond, and we are going to be unboxing the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Collector's Edition. Um, I do also have the extra alternate steelbook. Um, there is a different one in here. This one was available, I believe, in Amazon in the US and game here in the UK. Kind of weird. I didn't order the separate steelbook. It just came with my collector's edition, which seems a little odd, but I will take it nonetheless. I'm sure you guys know by now how much I love collector's editions, uh, especially steelbooks. So um, we'll check this out first. We got my fingerprints all over it. Let's see if I can get some of that off. So it's a pretty cool kind of blue. I think the guy's name is Wolf. Correct me if I'm wrong if you've been playing it. I think his name's Wolf. We do have this title on the spine. The correct way up. So that is amazing. And on the back we've got this Japanese writing, I guess, with the title. On the inside we've got um, some key art. This is the main piece of key art, at least that I've seen for the game, I've seen it used quite a lot. Um, so, but it is a really cool piece of art nonetheless. So you got him using his grappling hook, I think, or something. But anyway, let's get into the main collector's edition. That is why we're here, really. So this was available here in the UK, I believe it was exclusive to game, I could be wrong on that, but if I remember rightly, and then it was out of stock, um, not too long ago really, I pre-ordered one for my friend as well, not that long ago, so only recently went out of stock, it might come back in stock, I don't know, um, so I'll check out this back sleeve real quick, it's on the front, you've seen that enough, on the side we've got, take revenge, restore your honor, kill ingeniously, that's the same on both sides. On the back we've got the contents. So we get another steel book. Um, full game, 8 inch Shinobi statue, map, replica, 3 replica game coins, and collectible art book, and digital soundtrack. <laughs> they straight up, this is pretty funny, they straight up use the art that they promoted it with because it still says down here appearance of final contents may have very certain content may be provided digitally. So, that's interesting. I feel like the art book I got digitally, I got an email for it. So I'd be interested to see if that's actually in here. So, here is the box. Very nice looking box, but it is just cardboard. It, doesn't, it looks much fancier than it feels. We'll leave it at that. Looks like it's going to open quite nicely for us though. How's the camera? Alright, first thing first, we've got some instructions to cut stuff and attach a sword. Ooh, so we've got a nice bit of foam. Foam's always cool. Um, I'm not sure which editor should attack first. I'll attack the map. So it's a uh, not paper. I think that is paper, but it's rolled and it's got a kind of leathery texture to it. Um, not really sure how best to describe that, but let's see if I can. Oh, it's just a straight up knot. Great. No. My fingers aren't designed for knots. The map that I can't get into. Maybe I should have tackled this one last. Oh wait, I can just do it like that. <laughs> just slipped it off. Um, so yeah, it feels, it feels like paper, but not quite paper. It's a pretty nice feeling to it, although a little bit odd. Um, it says there's a map, but I'm not really sure how to use this map. <laughs> there we go. And on the back it is just plain. 
Uh, get these coins out if I can. Wow, they are in there. Ooh. Yeah, we'll go to them later. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we've got the art book, and it's got this, again, it, it feels like a hardback book, but it's got this texture to it that's almost cloth-like. I don't know how best to describe that, but here we uh, check out some of the pages. It's a lot of concept art, really title on the spine right way up <laughs> see if we can get these coins out yet because wow how am I meant to get okay um I guess we'll do those last uh here's the game oh here's the steelbook so uh let's see how long go we can compare them so they're very, very different steelbooks, which is quite nice. This title is on the spine, correct way up. On the back, the title of the game, pretty plain, honestly. Alright, now we get into it. So interestingly, I have code for digital soundtrack and art book. I got this as an email separately, so I'm not sure why that is in the case or why I got an email. Um, some legal mumbo jumbo. We got the game disc. Pretty nice looking game disc, I will say, actually, as far as game disc go. And then the inside, again, is quite different from the other one. So here's the other one. So this, again, was available at Amazon in the US. I think the Steelbook, this, this blue one, is available still at game here in the UK as a Steelbook edition of the game. But yeah, I really like this kind of mystic mystic, mystical kind of look over here, mysterious. So that's the steel book. Um, what do you know about these coins? I can't get him out either. Okay, well here's a sword. We'll deal with that in a minute. Um, I don't want to snap him. Hmm. Okay, well on the plus side, Packaging, he's not going anywhere. Are these tied in or something? What's going on here? I'm gonna destroy the box at this rate. I can't even get the inner out of the box. <laughs> I can't get the stuff. How am I supposed to do it unbox it if the stuff doesn't come out of the box? Stick under there. I tell you guys that much. Um, holy. Okay. That is what these instructions are for. So the he is tied into the box at these points. And looking at them again, you can kind of see them there. So quickly, just cut those off. And then he should come out. I don't know about the coins though. Do I have scissors on here? I think I do somewhere. Maybe. No, I don't. Alright, nice it is. There is some plastic here protecting it, so that's something, I guess. Wow, these leg ones are on tight. And always be careful when using knives, which I very nearly wasn't right there. Okay, 
Now we got him out. Where did I put his sword? The sword's there. I still didn't solve this coin problem though. Like, wow. Oh, I got one out. I got one out. I got another one out. I got them all out. I win. That was more stressful than I think it should have been. Um. Oh no. I put the box on the sword and I bent the sword. Be very careful. This is extremely fragile, as I've just found out. Wow. I mean, I don't know. I guess this is it. Um. I feel like that sword should go in better. I can't get it in any better, but here we go. We can check out the statue nonetheless. You can see it wobbling. I do not like that. It is a very cool stance as long as the sword remains in place. I mean, the detail on it is really nice, I think. And it's not a huge statue here, we'll put him next to a steelbook for his size. And we've got these three coins, which I think, are they identical? They do look identical. So we'll just check out one of them as three. Not really sure what you'd do with them. I guess you could put them on a necklace or something, or a bracelet. Maybe kind of big for a bracelet, I guess. And yeah, so that is everything. So once again, the collector's edition comes with the statue, which hopefully that sword stays in. This white steel book, uh, this map or picture or whatever it's supposed to be, a uh, copy of the game, digital soundtrack and digital art book, along with the physical art book, which again has this kind of cloth feel to it, and the three coins. So, I'll bring that down a bit. That is everything. Let me know in the comments if you pick this game up, what you think of it. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting into it, even though I know it will probably defeat me quite a lot, because, uh, I mean, it's by the people from Dark Souls. I mean, pretty much have to expect that going in. Um, and yeah, again, I think I've said it a few times now, but this steelbook is available separately from or outside of the collector's edition from Amazon in the US and game in the UK um, so and I believe it's still in stock as of recording um, so if you if you want a steelbook um, I think the collector's edition is out of stock but there's pretty I mean it's a really nice steelbook nonetheless this blue one is still available I believe um, so yeah make sure to give me that thumbs up if you like the video if you want to see more content like this make sure to give me that uh, subscribe subscription Hit that bell if you want to know when that content goes live. Um, and I'll see you all next time.